and why death is only a shadow. Not only is God with us, but God has made the way for us. Death is defeated in Christ, and it's for this reason that Paul writes, O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? And Paul tells us that this life and this end is not the end. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all, we will all be changed in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will all be changed. God is with us in that he has made a way home to him through the death of his son, Jesus Christ, on the cross for our sins. And in his resurrection, we are assured of new life for all those who would trust in him. Friends, it is dark in that valley, and sometimes we can't see the light, but we know that God is with us as he was with King David, the psalmist, as he was with my grandfather. God is with us as we traverse the valley of the shadow of death. We too can look forward to the house of the Lord. It was the Lord Jesus who said, do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places if it were not so, I would have told you, for I go to prepare a place for you. And this is the promise of Jesus for all who trust in him, like my grandfather trusted in him also. Hello, my name is Sandra, and I'm here to introduce our next person coming up. Um, I just want to say a few words. At the end of our English Christmas service last year, Mark Chan came up and sang the closing song, All Is Well. I happened to pull out my cell phone to record it, and since then, it's one of my favorites. It's on my cell phone because I've listened to it over and over and over again, especially in light of my dad's passing. Mark is a lifelong friend of ours. Pauline and I were both pregnant at the same time. Pauline gave birth to Mark on October 1st, 1994, and 22 days later I gave birth to Randall, and they have been good friends ever since. And one thing I loved about my dad is what uh, Vicky shared, that our friends became his friends. His community did not decrease as he got older, but rather an increase as he had a big heart to love those that were close to his children and grandchildren. We shared many meals together with the chance, and my dad even came to one of Mark's recitals at APU. Another friend of my dad's was Dr. Alfredo Trentel, the doctor who performed the quadruple bypass heart surgery on my dad. My dad was always grateful for how God used Dr. Trento to extend his earthly life. At the time of the surgery in 1997, my dad would say, I would be happy if I could just live 10 more years. Well, it's almost been 23 years since that surgery. And the Trento family has been able to join us to watch the girls pray several times. And Robin Trento, when she found out that my dad had passed away, sent, this, sent me an email with this quote in it. She said, it takes a while to walk a loved one to the gate and then a while to walk back without them, but it is a profoundly beautiful thing to do. Well, as you listen to Mark sing all is well, I want to say all is well. Because we walk dad to a gate and not to the grave. His body would go into the grave, but his heart and soul went through a gate that leads to eternal life. Dr. Trentel is probably the only one who has seen my dad's actual beating heart as he did open heart surgery on him. 
I saw that heart, the monitor on that heart go to zero on December 26th. But that's not the heart that defines who my dad is. Yesterday we went to the viewing and my kids were startled to see the body of my dad and they came and talked to me afterwards at night and one of my children said to me, that's not Gung Gung. Because I've never seen Gung Gung without attentive eyes and a smile on his lips. And that body doesn't have attentive eyes and a smile on his lips. He said, that's not Gung Gung. All of the sharing about my dad today has been about his spiritual heart. His love, his passions, his generosity and kindness, his true life. All is well because that heart has gone through the gate and lives alone. God is spirit, God is love, and God is life. God has the most penetrating, attentive, caring eyes for every single one of us. He has the most gracious, winsome, forgiving smile for every one of us. And if through all the sharing today you felt like, wow, Charles Wong was a great father. Well, that's only a shadow of who our Heavenly Father is to all of us. He loves all of us. He has a, he has so much more attention for each one of us than my dad is, has shared for every one of us. My dad is just modeling what was put into him as the Heavenly Father is to each one of us. God is the great physician who makes our true hearts new through the Lord Jesus Christ. All is well. Christ has come. And because he lives, we shall live also. Mark, could you come and minister to us with the song? <clears throat>
going to invite Charles Wong's grandson, Daniel Shea, to come to offer his reflection. In the summer of 2015, my brother Nathaniel and I just, well, Nathaniel graduated from college and I just graduated from high school. Um, and it, as it happened to us, every time I was on break, my grandfather asked if we'd like to join him at his office a few days a week to work for him. Since my brother and I were both pretty free, we went to his office quite a lot that summer. My grandfather shared stories with us about his life and journey to America. And my brother had the idea that we should collect all his stories in one place and write a biography of my grandfather. We had a lot of fun interviewing him, reading drafts of chapters aloud to him, and finding old pictures of him in his early projects. When the book was finished, my grandfather was happy with the work and gave many copies to his family and friends. Since it was first written, the book has gone through some iterations, but it is essentially the same as that summer project. My grandfather loved to share his story, and as a way to continue doing that, we have a number of copies of this book printed, and we invite you all to take one as you leave. Because of the limited number of them, we ask that you take one per family. In recent years, I got the privilege of being a sort of ghostwriter for my grandfather. I helped him draft various things that he wanted to write, including an afterword to the biography, which we had just finished two months ago and which he gave to his children hours before he passed. I miss writing for my grandfather. I miss hearing him tell me what's on his mind. I miss trying to capture his pace and voice and positive perspective. In the days after he passed, I wrote him one more thing, which I'd like to share as a final tribute. What flag was that, I ask? 
stars and stripes, you'd say. How shocked were you to learn that from a Hong Kong bay, you'd sail the same long route on which those spangled banners came. And when you passed Hawaii and then reached San Pedro's shores, your mother and your brother, you three were all each other had. And then drove up your dad. It was as if your life had just begun. It was as if the song you'd sung had modulated keys, and I imagined that the breeze you felt inside your father's pickup truck had banished luck and brought inside the joy of providence. Your father was the hero of your life, and you've become a hero here to us, a giving tree who always lived by principle and fortitude, set goals, made plans, developed healthy self-esteem, when others to your team inside by showing them respect. Don't neglect your passions. Follow what you love. Always think above and beyond the problems that you face. Don't let a trace of doubt distract. Always act from competence with confidence and charm. Rarely will harm come to you when you know you have done things right. Value education, value learning even more. Always have inside yourself a core of curiosity. These principles could go are written down within, and illustrations furnish them from stories of your life. Your world is now internalized. I see you there in my mind's eye. The shirt is slacked, the stylish coats, as you watches, charming quotes of little things you'd say to me, like calling me old buddy. You still drive your Lexus in my mind, and next to me, you're walking side by side, your arm on mine. I see your world in angles, like a friend of the right side. Clean lines and custom landscapes, lots of sunshine from long windows and from skylights. The streets on which you worked and walked, like settings from a novel, still retain the names that help me think of you. On Future Street, you learned a lesson. Kids were raised at Don's Moss. The office built at Robertson was quite a work of art. All of this, and so much more. I start the stories of your lifetime playing in my mind again. You're gone, and yet these stories do not end. You're gone, and yet live on, go go, in everyone you loved. Before your heart stopped beating, you had given it to us. And now I trust that if we too begin to give our hearts away, then someday we might come to you and know we're there to stay. Thank you. My grandfather was a committed member of his church, the Mandarin Baptist Church of Los Angeles. I'd like to invite his friend and pastor from MBCLA, Reverend Ali Chan, to come and to lead us in the Lord's Prayer and to announce the benediction. A complete life, a godly legacy, put <coughs> on the cover of our bulletin today. In the 56 years history of MCLA, we have undergone three major building projects or remodeling. And Mr. Charles Wong and Susan came to MCLA in the 80s. And, they, and Mr. Wong was the architect of our second and third major building project. And now we are having our fourth building project before the finalizing of the, the project and so forth. One day Mr. Wong asked me to meet with him, the young child. As we sat down at a restaurant table, he took out this big piece of paper. Then he showed me, he said, Alan, these are the things you want to pay attention to for this next building project. And I just want to let all of you know that Mr. Wall has a profound impact also on Andy Selling, the church he loved very dearly. And so we're very proud to have members like Charles and Susan Paul. 
being so faithful to the Lord as well as to the church. Shall we all stand as we close today's uh, service with the Lord's Prayer? Let's pray together with the Lord's Prayer. It is printed on the back of the bullet bulletin. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let's remain standing as we receive the benediction from the Lord. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the comfort, fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with the warm family and each and every one of us, both now and forevermore. Amen. Please be seated. On behalf of the family, I want to join you, I want to thank you for joining together this afternoon to celebrate the life of my grandfather, Charles Wong. And we hope that you will share the comfort that we have in the promises of Jesus, that while Mr. Wong's body is laid to rest here, yet his spirit is present with the Lord. And so at the conclusion of last respects, the family would also uh, invite you uh, to share in the meal in memory of Mr. Wong. As you know, uh, my grandfather loved his friends and family, and he also loved a good meal. And so it would bless his memory if you would join us together there. And as you arrive, you may begin and you may enjoy 